using Active Directory authentication. So a customer can go here and uh, there's a whole bunch of services. Uh, one of them is uh, virtual networks. So I can go here if I want to create a virtual network that I want to connect to my enterprise. I just go here and say create a new virtual network. And give it a name. I want it to be in the valley. side and express route. So that's the new service review. I wanted to connect to US West and really Side. You can also do point to site configuration in Azure. And then when I go next, I can pick whatever I want. And that's just fine. I have a gateway subnet, and literally that's it. Now the virtual network will start to get created. Now, once it's done, you know, it gets done really fast, as you will see. You can go and there you go. So now my virtual network is ready. I can go create VMs in it. I can create VPN gateways. So for the purposes of the demo, I have everything set up, and I actually do have um, two express route circuits already set up. So you can see these are connected um, via Equinix in both east and west coast. Now let me go ahead and log into an Azure VM that's already present in a virtual network. And this VM is already connected via these two express route circuits back to uh, on-premise. And this, in this case, the on-premise, the customer network is in an Equinix global. So this is an Azure VM. So, and this is already connected via express route to my enterprise network. So what I'm going to do is, you know, now this Azure VM essentially becomes part of my enterprise network. So I'm able to go reach any VM on-premise uh, just like I would uh, if I was sitting on the campus. So if I have to log into a VM on premise, and just like that, move. On. This is my on premise VM. This is not in the cloud. This is running on premise, and I'm able to log into it so fast from the public cloud. And I can copy stuff from it. I can you know, do, do any normal operations, treat it like a regular VM. And uh, you know, people uh, often want to use public cloud, but they have critical databases and other legacy systems that, that they want to be able to access at low latency. So as you can see, I can remote desktop really fast, but let's see how fast uh, you know, this, uh, this machine really is. And what we see here is I consistently get single digit millisecond latency back to the customer premises. And this is going through all those layers. This is going through the software, the vSwitch, the hypervisor layers, the gateways, the VPN, the physical edge routers, and then back in through the load balancer and everything. And you will see uh, you know, it stays within single digit, typically between one and two. So using this, now you can access on-premise resources, file servers, databases, even latency sensitive uh, resources. And just extend to the cloud whenever you need uh, new branch offices. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks, Barry. Uh, you can switch back. Switch back and I'll wrap it up. So that, that service went into preview. We uh, could